Gloves over here. Pictures everywhere. Who's the boxer? Me. You the boxer? Yeah. You're a tough guy. Yeah, tough enough. Really? What could you do? To you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Dieter, and this is Papa's Bar. Today, gonna be a spicy whiskey, a single malt from Scotland. Glen Murray, 12 year old one. First of all, I wanna thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate it very much. If you got any questions, please leave a comment down below in the comment section. Click on a video you like it and I will respond to your comment as soon as I can. All right, my friends. Uh, Glen Murray 12. It's a single malt. I got many single malts here, but today I randomly picked this one. Unless you guys put something in the comment section and request a special review of a whiskey, cognac, a vodka, or anything else I got here, you know, liqueur, anything. Okay, like I said, Glen Murray 12 year old is a spicite single malt whiskey from Scotland. Uh, if you have in your head what Scotland looks like, uh, the spicite is the northeast part of Scotland. So it, it's a pretty rugged and beautiful, of course, area with many uh, wild water streams where they source the water. Like I always say, the water is very important in anything you drink, you know, alcoholic beverage, very, very important. So they really promote their water use. So it's, it's important. As to that, let's see what we got. A real cork, that's good, I like that. I don't like the synthetic ones, but most companies nowadays use syn synthetic ones, so. I guess it's cheaper, they don't break as often as the regular corks, you know, so it's their thing. I really prefer the original ones, but hey, you can't have it, you can't have it all, all right? Okay, my friends, to the nose, uh, it's, it's a stored in American oak a cask, all by themselves, nothing else. It's bottled at 40%, yeah. 40%, 80% proof alcohol. It's a very easy on the nose. I get vanilla, uh, toffee, yeah, I would call it toffee. Toffee kind of flavor like this candy stuff. Not much else. It's a little fruity, berry fruits or something like that. But it's really not, how can I say, not sophisticated, it's simple. Yeah, it's a simple, a simple single malt, not, not much to it. If you look for complexity or something hidden, you're not gonna get this in, the, in this whiskey. Yeah, 12 years, so let's see. It does not look as it got coloring in. As you can see, got a light amber color, so it's not dark like some whiskeys, like for example here, see that? It's really dark. There's coloring in, which I don't mind. Coloring is food, uh, is tasteless, food, food coloring. I think it's called 104 or 105. So it, it's nothing to it. It just makes it look, uh, how can I say, more appetizing, you know? But the real whiskey drinker like the original coloring, you know? All right, my friends, let's go to the taste. Okay, wow. Candy store. Very sweet. Caramel, vanilla, toffee. Uh, just a hint of smoke. Very, very small smoke. The smoke comes from the oak barrels, of course. But there's also in taste, just like the nose, there's not much to it. I would put it in a category easy TV zipper, you know, the go-to bottle. Because the price point on that was only 32 bucks. So it's really cheap. It's not very expensive. I mean, 
Johnny Walker Green, which is a, 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 a blend, a blended whiskey, costs you 64 bucks. Here you get a single malt for between 29 and 32 dollars, depending where you buy it. So, but uh, it's an easy drinker. If you mix, you can mix it too, because at this price point, you don't you don't waste much because most of the time people have Johnny Walker Red, you know, or the Bushmills, or, or, or the Jameson, the, 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 the mix, you know, with Coke or ginger ale or whatever you mix your drink with, you know. So you can mix that one too. As a straight drinker like I am, I mean, Yeah, yeah, I drink it straight. It's just I'm looking for more. I'm, I'm looking for the fire. I'm looking for the fire for for the for that good burn, you know, for the deep oak taste. And I'm for, I'm missing the words, uh, the depthness. I'm missing here. It's a very simple whiskey. Uh, you can say it's a beginner whiskey okay if nobody has drunk whiskey before or only drunk whiskey with coke and mixing it and this person wants to start now to drink straight and want to start with a single malt easy to drink you know here that's the one I would recommend you know among many others but today we're talking about this one this one is a good starter beginner straight whiskey drinking experience because there's not much to it it's just not going to turn you off you know it's just not burn your throat or your, your your stomach you know it's an easy drinker so but for the person who looks for more you know you're you, you're searching with your tongue what what taste is that where, where does it come from how do i define it you're not going to find it in here so it's very simple it's not a bad whiskey I still gonna drink it, you know, but it, it, it's nothing to write home about it, if you want to say it that way. Nothing to write home about it. It's simple, middle of the road, beginner whiskey. That's what I think. Okay, my friend, I, I think that's gonna do it for the day for that whiskey here, which is not bad. It's not bad, but nothing to write home about it. Anyway, uh, leave your comments down below subscribe to the channel so more subscribe i get so more motivated i get so more reviews i will make all right thank you very much for watching see you next time until then bye bye my friends